Hi, this is Martin Taves, also known as Boss Coast Guy, bringing you the Western Hobby Farm Report. Behind me, you can see the, potato, or the uh, onions here and some garlic, which is a little anemic, but it's recently received a manure tree treatment, and we're hoping that it will get less yellow and more green as time goes on. In front of me, we've got three rows of potatoes. They've just finished blossoming. And uh, as well, on a number of these, we're seeing little potato seeds come out. You can see them here. And these only occur where the potatoes are in ideal conditions, so it means I've got a good chance of getting another good crop off this year. And in front of me here are some recently transplanted basil, so they're still a little bit sad from being moved. Uh, but again, the manure tree treatment seems to have them recovering fairly quickly. And you can see a second row over there. And beyond there's a third row. We've already had two basil harvests this year. And looking forward to many more and lots of fresh pesto. Oh, back here is uh, the dill. It's not doing quite as well as the rogue dill that came from uh, the plantings that overwintered somehow. And and I managed to survive, so we'll look at those later. Here we have one tomato plant, and uh, we haven't quite given up on tomatoes despite three years of poor results. We've got a number of blossoms that are showing now, and uh, we'll see if we get any that turn red this year. Over here is the ever-present garden fairy, guarding and watching over the cosmos, the one set of flowers that we hope to have soon this year. There are two zucchini plants uh, that seem to do well no matter how well you treat them or how poorly you mistreat them. Always more zucchini. And now to my right we've got three rows of peas. On the far side we have the snap peas, uh, which we can eat without having a shell, which Laura really likes. And then these two rows here, planted one week apart, are little marvels, and they are doing marvelously. These are the kind that Laura will be shelling later on. To showcase we've got some pods already set on the peas. They're starting to fill up a little bit with seeds inside so hopefully we have something to eat fresh in a few days. Uh, these two rows are for you Amy. This is what beans look like when they do when they come up and fully germinate. Um, we've got lots of flowers on, no pods here yet but hopefully that changes very soon. Here we have one row of uh, national pickling cucumbers. We've already got two or three cucumbers that are set on with blossoms and they're starting to swell a little bit. So that tells me that they are probably have been germinated. And hopefully we have cucumbers within a couple of weeks. Uh, next to them is the rogue dill I was talking about before, which has done really well despite me doing absolutely nothing for them. So we will have plenty of dill come canning time later this summer. And then the last vegetable row, which is slightly obscured, by the dill. These are the purple carrots. So it didn't get 100% germination the way I did last year, but still a decent enough turnout, so they will be added to the coffers as well for the winter. Last, but certainly not least, we have these guys here. So already well over six feet high, uh, lots of flower pods going, so it should be another glorious year for flowers. What kind of flower is it, Martin? Hollyhock. Hollyhock. Here we go. That concludes this episode of the Western Hobby Farm Report. Is this all of your garden, Martin? No, there's more, but those will be in future episodes to come.